the Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2021 to Maria Ressa and Dmitry Muratov for their efforts to safeguard freedom of expression, which is a precondition for democracy and lasting peace. Ms. Ressa and Mr. Muratov are receiving the Peace Prize for their courageous fight for freedom of expression in the Philippines and in Russia. At the same time, they are representatives of all journalists who stand up for this ideal in a world in which democracy and freedom of the press face increasingly adverse conditions. Maria Ressa uses freedom of expression to expose abuse of power, use of violence and growing authoritarianism in her native country, the Philippines. In 2012, she co-founded Rappla, a digital media company for investigative journalism, which she still heads. As a journalist and Rappler's CEO, Ressa has shown herself to be a fearless defender of freedom of expression. Rappler has focused critical attention to the Duterte regime's controversial, murderous anti-drug campaign. The number of deaths is so high that the campaign resembles a war waged against the country's own population. Ms. Reza and Rappler have documented how social media is being used to spread fake news, harass opponents and manipulate the public discourse. Dmitry Andreevich Muratov has for decades defended freedom of speech in Russia under increasingly challenging conditions. In 1993, he was one of the founders of the independent newspaper Novaya Gazeta. Since 1995, he has been the newspaper's editor-in-chief for a total of 24 years. Novaya Gazeta is the most independent newspaper in Russia today, with a fundamentally critical attitude towards power. The newspaper's fact-based journalism and professional integrity have made it an important source of information on censorable aspects of Russian society, rarely mentioned by other media. Since its start-up in 1993, Novaya Gazeta has published critical articles on subjects ranging from corruption, police violence, unlawful ar arrests, el electoral fraud and troll factories, and to the use of Russian military forces both within and outside of Russia. Novaya Gazeta's opponents have responded with harassment, threats, violence and murder. Since the newspaper's start, six of its journalists have been killed, including Anna Politkovskaya, who wrote revealing articles on the war in Chechnya. Despite the killings and threats, editor-in-chief Muratov has refused to abandon the newspaper's independent policy. He has consistently defended the right of journalists to write anything about whatever they want as long as they comply with the professional and ethical standards of journalism. Free independent and fact-based journalism 
serves to protect against abuse of power, lies and war propaganda. The Norwegian Nobel Committee is convinced that freedom of expression and freedom of information help to ensure an informed public. These rights are crucial prerequisites for democracy and protect against war and conflict. The award of the Nobel Peace Prize to Maria Ressa and Dmitry Muratov is intended to underscore the importance of protecting and defending these fundamental rights. Without freedom of expression and freedom of the press, it will be difficult to successfully promote fraternity between nations, disarmament and a better world order to succeed in our time. This year's award of the Nobel Peace Prize is therefore firmly anchored in the provisions of Alfred Nobel's will. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam Chair, um, I don't know whether to say congratulations or thank you, maybe <laughs> both. Uh, I may congratulate you. <laughs> uh, to what extent does uh, a prize uh, for journalists promote peace? Um, freedom of expression and the free press is, as I just mentioned, a prerequisite for a democratic society. And there is a firm understanding in the Nobel Committee that democratic societies um, prevent war and conflict. Do, does it abolish war and conflict totally? Probably not. But it is the best defence that a society can put up against war and conflict. And there is no democracy, uh, neither framed democracy or an advanced democracy, without freedom of expression. Madam Chair, uh, I'm just now listening to Maria Reza. My uh, channel TV2 in USA Norway is uh, doing an interview with a really, really happy woman. And she says that this recognition is uh, so important for her work and for the freedom of press in the whole world. What do you think is the significance of giving this prize to two persons uh, working under really difficult, complicated conditions in, one could say, oppressive regimes? Well, first of all, extend my congratulations and admiration to Maria Ressa. Um, I believe that um, giving the Peace Prize to two very courageous, outstanding journalists who are, have proved excellency within their profession, it really illustrates both what it means to be a journalist but how you exercise freedom of expression even under the most difficult and restricted circumstances. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, would you say that uh, a prize to the media or to journalists, uh, as in this case, uh, is um, in any way kind of expanding the prize? Yes and no. Um, I will give you the reasons for the no, because Journalists have been given the Nobel Peace Prize as early as in 1907. Theodor Moneta, who was a peace activist and used his newspaper as a platform for his activism. And we also have to remember the very important peace prize to um, Osietsky. Uh, where he criticised or revealed the secret uh, breach of the Versailles Treaty in Germany when Germany was building up an air force again in the 30s, and he paid with his life for revealing these facts. And um, it was 
he revealed also a beginning of a disaster for Europe. But the Peace Prize has not previously um, isolated the values of freedom of expression as such, um, the right to have an informed public, and that the work of journalists is absolutely necessary to achieve these goals and to, in that manner, develop democracy. Madam Chair, we are witnessing a world where uh, fake news is expanding. Uh, we all uh, witnessed what happened in the United States when the former president uh, uh, did not accept uh, the result of the election. How important think, do you think it, it is to, to really uh, stand by for, for free journalism, free press, uh, the, the, the free speech of world? Well, there is an irony that um, in today's world we have more press and more information than the world ever has faced. At the same time, we also see the abuse and the manipulation of uh, the free press and the public discourse. As with fake news, this is one of the issues of Maria Ressa. She is very critical to the use of Facebook to manipulate the public debate. And um, freedom of expression is full of paradoxes. And um, conveying fake news and um, uh, information that is propaganda and untrue is also um, a violation of freedom of expression. And all freedom of expression has its limitations. That is also a very important factor in this debate. Madam Chair, uh, my name is Bibiana Piena. I'm with the Norwegian News Agency. Uh, I have two questions for you. Uh, first, the last years, the Filipino government has led a crackdown on journalists, a very serious one. Now we see the same thing happening in countries like Afghanistan. Uh, what impact do you hope this price will have on regimes like uh, Philippines and, and Afghanistan? That's the first question. Uh, my second question is regarding not this year's price, but the price from two years ago to Abi Ahmed. Uh, he is now waging a war in the Tigray region in Ethiopia. He has recently expelled uh, several senior UN officers. In, has Mr. Ahmed lived up to the expectations of the Nobel Committee? Today I will <coughs> not comment on other Nobel laureates and other issues than we have on the table today. Um, but I can mention that the situation for freedom of press in Ethiopia is very far from ideal and is facing severe restrictions. Um, this price will not solve the problems that journalists or freedom of expression is facing. But what we do hope is that it will shed a light on the importance of the work of journalists and also shed a light on how dangerous it is to exercise freedom of expression, not only in um, places currently facing war and conflict, but really all over the world. If you read the Reporters Without Borders Press Freedom Index, it is a very sad index to read because the press and freedom of expression is challenged all over the world, but it is our um, intention to underscore how important this activity is for exactly a larger goal democracy and um, peace. Any other questions?
Thank you very much. Thank you.